everyone, so over the weekend I went to IMATS as well as the style hall banquet party that I was invited to so I got a ton of makeup and I also met five of you guys which was amazing you guys were so cool and so sweet so thank you to the five girls who came up to me and said hi it just really made my day so much better and I got a lot of makeup I didn't get I didn't personally buy as much makeup at IMATS that I thought I was going to because on Friday, I got sent a bunch of makeup and skincare by Style Hall to review and also just like to put in my videos if I wanted to or just for my personal use. So I figured, you know what, instead of just showing the maybe 10 products that I got from NYX and Stila at IMATS, I'm just going to show everything that they gave me as well as my BoxyCharm um, subscription box that they sent me to review as well. So I'm just going to be making a whole big makeup haul in this video. So sit tight, relax, and just get yourself a nice drink or something, you know, like some iced tea, some water with a fancy straw, and I'm just going to get right into it. So I'll start off with BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm is a monthly makeup subscription box similar to Ipsy or My Glam Bag or whatever um, other makeup subscription boxes there are. So when you first open this bag, it comes with this little note that tells you a description of the product as well as how much they cost and how much you're actually you're paying less to get them for. And it came with this pink ribbon, however I took it off. When you open it, it's this like black tissue paper. And the first thing I see is this nail polish by Bella Pierre and it's just teal nail polish and teal is becoming a really popular color for the springtime so that's nice then they also gave me this lip liner it's a nude lip liner by the brand model and co and it's a hot pink one i believe and it comes with a built-in sharpener on the end if you guys can see that so that's awesome for if you're traveling and you need to sharpen your eye pencil and you don't have a sharpener with you the cap comes with one so that's pretty nice when it, this is what the packaging looks like and it's in the color Emreno Sunset 03 and it looks like this. It says blush, like get it, beauty blush 06. Uh-huh, get it? Okay. Um, so it looks like this. And it's just like a nice nudie pink color. Uh, and just as what it looks. Ooh, it's pretty pigmented actually. It's really pigmented. So it's a nice blendable pink color that's perfect for the springtime or any season for that matter because blush is always nice to have. And then I see this hot pink long-lasting liquid lipstick by the brand. No, by the brand Ofra or OFR with a hipster looking triangle, if you guys can see that. So it's this hot pink color. So if I swatch that, ooh, it's a bright hot pink color. It's similar to the NYX one. It even smells like the NYX one. Oh my gosh, it smells like the super, like the matte lip glosses, um, like the lip sticks from NYX. Cool way of finishing oil that gives a glow. So it looks like this, and I'm guessing you put this in your hair, and it has... Forfia seaweed oil. So if you like Forfia seaweed oil, this is the product for you. And that's everything from BoxyCharm. I will leave a link of it down below so you guys can go check it out, see if you want to subscribe to it. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to what Style Hall sent me. So the brands I will be listing, however, there's so much stuff to show you guys. So I actually filmed this video before and I edited it and it came out to be 19 minutes long. So I figured no one would want to watch 20 minute makeup haul me explaining each product in depth. So I'm just going to be showing up the products, like holding it out so you guys can see what it looks like. So I'm going to start with Urban Decay. They sent me four primer potions. One is in Eden which is a matte color. One is an anti-aging one, so if you are of an older age and you want anti-aging primer potion to make sure your eyeshadow stays in all day, that's great. A regular, this is the regular original one. And also the one in Sin. I have Sin in the original one and they both work really well. They also sent me three eyeliners, however, one of them I gave to my friend Emily. And so the first one is in Black Velvet, which is a black pencil eyeliner. I'll just take it out really quickly. Eh, try to beat the clock. Looks like this. I'm sure you guys have all seen it at Sephora or Ulta. Really creamy, really pigmented. This is what it looks like my first time. Ooh, really, really pigmented. Love it. It's really easy to put on also. And then another one in Perversion, which I'm sure you guys have all heard about. And it's the All Nighter one also. Looks something like this. Again, I'll swatch it quickly. Again, super, super creamy. Really great. And it's a twistable applicator, which is always good. Then they sent me 10 eyeshadows, however, I gave five of them to Melise and Emily and also Melise's sister, Ejem. So the first one is Foxy. I'm sure you guys have heard of this. It's a matte color. The next one is in, is in Polyester Bride. I'm wearing it on my eyelids right now along with a few other colors by Urban Decay. Just silver white color. Looks like this. Super pretty, super um, pigmented and just a nice color in general. Midnight Cowgirl, which is a nude color with a lot of sparkles in it. 
Um, and they also gave me the Perversion Super Saturated Gel Eyeliner, which is awesome. And they also gave me an eyeliner brush, which is a, um, not eyeliner, well, I mean, it's an angled brush, so you can use it for gel eyeliner if you'd like, or just for um, your eyebrows if you wanted to fill them in. Any purpose brush, which is always nice. And then they finally gave me this other color in Naked. And the other colors that they've given me were Virgin, which is a white shimmery color, Buck, which is a brown color, and the color Blackout, which is a black eyeshadow and I'm not sure what the other colors that they had given me but they were so oh they gave me sin which um, goes along I guess with the primer potion in sin so that's it from Urban Decay so thank you Urban Decay for sending me those products I'm super excited to try them out and I'm really excited that you sent me that next is this Avalon Organics anti dandruff shampoo which is great if you have dandruff or if you just want your hair to smell good it's an itch and flake therapy shampoo and the bottle is made with 100% recycled material great I think they sell this at Whole Foods so it's really nice and organic next is this June Jacobs spa collection they sent me a bunch of these products the first one is a lip renewal it's just a lip balm looks something like this it has SPF 30 no SPF 50 so it's really great especially in the summer if you live someplace that it's hot or even if you don't just a nice lip balm then they sent me this papaya body body balm and it's paraben free and it's just a body lotion this smells so good I was spraying it sorry if you hear my dog barking in the background um, oh, it smells so good I just love the smell this is a full-size tube by June Jacobs then another thing is this June Jacobs Spa Collection Perfect Pumpkin Enzyme Polish. And I'm pretty sure this is also some kind of um, lotion in a way, and it's also paraben free. Great, and it also smells like the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. I know that because I, when I smelled it, it just, I immediately thought it smelled like that. So that's great. Next is this June Jacobs Moisture Mask. So again, paraben free and also preservative free, which is awesome. Looks like this comes in this like matte container, if you guys can even see. That's like a greenish color. I think that just might be the case though. I'm not going to open it because um, I don't want to have it be closer to its expiration date when I'm not using it yet. And then also by June Jacobs, I think this is the last thing that they sent me. Oh no, second to last. It is this revitalizing eye gel and this is super cool because it has a metal tip applicator. It looks like this, if you guys can even see that. So it's great if you put it in a refrigerator like before you go to bed and when you wake up in the morning, take it out. Put it under your eyes where it's puffy and red because it's going to help to reduce the swelling of your eyes and it's a great product. This skincare anti-aging blemish control peel pads. Again, it is paraben free and it has salicylic acid in it which will help if you have acne and your skin reacts well to that. Looks like this. Again, it's just blemish control pads. Moving on to H2O Plus. This is their spa sea salt. Great in the bathtub if you want to scrub and you want to exfoliate your skin. That's great. They also sent me this H2O Plus body scrub. Again, it's a different kind, I think. What this has, um, this is a, a skin smoothing exfoliator and this is just a regular body scrub. So that's great. They're both also full size, so that's awesome. They also sent me this CC cream. They sent me two of these, however, one of them was not my skin tone, so I gave it to Emily. So she took the fair one and I took the light slash medium one. And it is just this CC cream and has SPF 30, awesome. And what I also really like about this is when you open it, it comes with a pump, which is super handy if you're traveling and you don't you don't want to worry about if there's going to be a mess on your hands or if it's going to spill in your travel makeup bag. It comes with a cap to protect it, so that's great. I'm really excited to try that out, by the way. I'm excited to try all these products out, what am I saying? And then this other one is this body cleansing water. I'm pretty sure this is just to cleanse your face. But this is a oil-free marine hydration oasis mist, and this is to help rapidly mo rapidly restore your moisture and um, I think it's just a refreshing mist, yeah, just to help your skin stay moisturized and not moisturized, but like wet and not so dry and flaky. Next is this Fabulips Powdomatic Spa Powered um, Lip Exfoliating Brush. And it comes with a battery, it comes with the actual brush itself, and it comes with a little lip scrub as well as a cap. So if you're traveling, you don't want to get it dirty, or just if you're at home, you don't want to get the actual brush itself dirty, you can put a little cap on it. So that's what it looks like. Um, next is this thing by Go Smile, and it's a toothpaste actually. There's two toothpastes inside. So one is for PM, and one is for AM. So they didn't give me the brush itself because I'm guessing it was too expensive to give to the 20 or so people that were there at my session. But they give me four like step, what is this? Two to four steps. And basically you mix it together and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a pinky color once you mix all the products. So four of these and you just use them in the steps given. And they also gave me in the box 
a like um, a moisture mask. It's for no synthetic fragrances and it's 100% vegetarian ingredients. I believe they sell this at Whole Foods as well, so you know it's organic. And I try my hardest to try to find par products that don't have any parabens and that don't have any harsh chemicals that could potentially harm your skin. So this is just a um, skin corrector. I don't think I will be using this because again, I don't really have any spots, but um, it's a cool product, so I wanted to show you guys in case any of you do have spots that I gave two away to Melise and Emily. They gave me a hot pink one as well as a coral one. I gave those two away. And these are the Nails Ink Gel Effect Nail Polishes. So I And there's no UV needed, so I guess it's supposed to dry like a gel polish because Melise was wearing it and it was a little bit thicker of a formula than a regular one. They also sent me their spring and summer collection. So again, Nails Ink London, just regular nail polishes, nice little kit like this. And I'm really excited to try it out because all these pastel colors look really, really pretty. So I'm really excited to try this out. So thank you again to Nails Ink and Style Hall for sending me those. Next is this other product by Peter Thomas Roth. Looks like this. It's a concealer as well as a highlighter. When you open the box, I believe, again, this also at Whole Foods. I'm not positive. Please don't um, get really mad at me if it's not there. However, I know you can probably buy these products online if you were to look for it. One of them is a lighter color and one of them is a darker color, so I'm excited to use that. So those are the products from Style Hall. So thank you so much for sending me that. I had a super fun time meeting some of the Style Hall members and the crew and just getting to experiment with some of these makeup items. So thank you so much for sending me these products. I'm really looking forward to trying them out, especially the Urban Decay ones. Now moving on to what I got at IMS, which wasn't very much. I spent most of my money on NYX, and everything at NYX was half off anyways. Well, if it was really close to either half off. So say something was $6, it was usually like $3 or $4, possibly $2. So everything was at a really nice price range. And NYX also um, is a really nice makeup company brand. You can find them. I think they have it at CVS now, and they have it at Ulta. So this one is a red one, and it is in the color Amsterdam. It's a bright red color. I'm gonna put it on my arm because I'm going to. And these smell have this like vanilla scent, so that's what it looks like. And these last for so long, I can't even get to tell you. They last for at least an hour, like the when you first apply it, so that's awesome. I got this one also in Tokyo. This one is a baby pink color, however, when I wore it on my lips, it came off really, really um, cakey and dry and frosty, so I didn't really like that much, but whatever. This other one is in Milan. It's a, also a nice pink color. If you couldn't tell, I'm sticking mostly to pink shades. That is what that looks like. Um, hopefully you guys are seeing these swatches while well. I kind of put it like an awkward place in my arm because I didn't have any room on my hand. Then I have this other one in San Paolo. And these are the soft matte lip creams, by the way. I'm not sure if I said that or not, but when you open it, again, another pink color. This is a darker pink. This is what it looks like, if you guys can see that. And then also, the last thing is a butter gloss. So, I might just put it on my lips right now, just because. And this has a, it's also a sweet smell, but it's not as um, vanilla of a scent of, rather than the soft matte ones. So it's just a nice gloss. And that is what it looks like on. Next, I got a cream blush in the color Glow. And I also got a powder blush in the color Natural. And then I also got a super skinny black eyeliner because at the Stila they didn't have any black eyeliners when I got there, which wasn't very late. I got there at a pretty decent time, so I got two brown eyeliners, and I'm also wearing one of the brown eyeliners on my lids today. However, that one is kind of um, old and drying out, so I decided to pick up two of them. And these were $13 each rather than the official nay, um, the official price of $19 to $20. Oh, and I also got two more products from NYX. I forgot to show them. It is the Born to Go Liquid Illuminator. You can use this by yourself, or you could use it with a foundation or BB cream of your choice. And this is in the color Gleam. And then I got this NYX Pump It Up Lip Plumper from my friend in Germany, um, who does not have any lip plumpers that are of a cheaper price to her. So these are all these swatches, all the products mentioned. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it wasn't too long. I try to speak as fast as possible because, like I said, the other video I um, edited and post was uh, going to post was like 19 to 20 minutes, so I figured you guys wouldn't want to sit through that entire thing. So, yes, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I had so much fun meeting you guys. Thank you for coming up to me and saying hi, and again, I will leave links of BoxyCharm down below as well as my social media links so you guys can follow me and stalk me. Just kidding. Don't do that. But anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.